Why is everybody talking about NAD? What is NAD? What does it help with? We're gonna cover all of that today. Hi, I'm Tiffany. I am a nurse. I own a mobile infusion business, and I like to teach nurses how to start their own mobile IV therapy businesses, as well as just educate about what we're giving, why we're giving, just so our patients and also our nurses can be more educated. So what is NAD? NAD is a molecule that our body actually makes. What is it responsible for? So it helps fuel our cells. Our cells are the most basic parts of us. It helps with mitochondrial function. So our cells have several parts of it. The mitochondria from, from science class is kind of like the powerhouse of the cell. But as we age and several different factors, it can kind of slow down our mitochondrial function. Our mitochondria is kind of like the go-getter of the cell. If it's not working properly, then a lot of times our cells may be slowing down or not doing the things that they need to. So what NAD is, NAD is the direct precursor. So your body needs NAD, this molecule, in order to make ATP, which remember is energy. And so whenever you are giving your body NAD, or essentially you're giving your body energy to be able to repair itself at the cellular level. And there's so many reasons why you take this, so many different ways that help people. It doesn't always help everybody in the same way, so we're going to break that down. So let's start kind of more on a preventative type acute thing. So say you have two different people. Say you have a 60-year-old, and we'll go with me. You got a 60-year-old runner, and you have a 30-year-old me who's a runner. And we're both overall healthy people. And so when we give NAD, it's gonna be given two different ways. For this purpose right now, we're gonna be talking about giving the IV dose. So think about Botox. You could have, so if I were to do Botox, I'm gonna be doing it more preventatively. It's going to be stopping and kind of paralyzing the area. That way, when I smile or whatever, it's preventing those wrinkles or those lines from forming because they, they, they're, you just, they're preventative. I don't already have them. They're preventing them from coming. Say we have our 60 year old person, they already have a lot of fine lines and wrinkles it is going to reverse those wrinkles. So it might take a couple of times to kind of like tighten that area back up and paralyze those muscles. So it's more reversing, you're undoing something. NAD is very similar. So whenever I do NAD, and I actually do NAD IV monthly, for me, it is more preventative. So it has several different things that helps with. It can help you have more energy. It can help you sleep better. It helps with neurotransmitter regulation. It helps with recovery. It helps with everything. But remember, we have cells in all of our body systemically. So when you're giving your body NAD to repair, it's really helping all of those cells. It's not just targeting one area or another. Now, depending on what I need to repair in and what you need to repair in, it could be two different things because we are two different people. So I might have more wear and tear and damage on completely different areas than what you have, if this makes sense. So for me, whenever I do it, I am a runner. I run half marathons. I've ran since high school. I've ran like 15 plus years. So for me, when I do it, it's more helping with, it's preventative, but more helping in the recovery. It's not really reversing anything, if that makes sense. Because as we get older, the amount of NAD that our body makes at baseline decreases. And so I'm gonna be making more NAD than what someone who's 60 is gonna be doing. But they also have more wear and tear and damage than what I have. So for me, you know, I, it helps me with energy because I can tell a difference. I could tell you from doing it. I've been doing NAD monthly for four or five months now. And since then I have more energy, but the big thing for me is, again, since I don't have a ton of wear and tear, is that it really helps me with my recovery. I can tell you, because I've run several half marathons, I have changed nothing, literally nothing, not my diet, not my plan, my like training plan. I changed nothing except for adding NADN and I feel better throughout my runs. I feel like my body recovers faster. Um, my times have improved. It's all from a recovery standpoint. Now let's go back to our 60 year old person. If they're gonna do NAD, they're gonna notice effects faster and more noticeable effects. Let's say more noticeable because there's more things that need to be corrected. Does this make sense? So they, if they don't sleep well, they might be starting to sleep well after a couple months of doing it. They may notice more energy. It really, it really depends on the person. And I feel like a lot of people like to generalize, like, okay, so how's it gonna help me? 
well, I really have to look into your health history and see what you're already struggling with and what symptoms you're already having and kind of how you live your lifestyle in order to be able to give you a more set in stone idea. And I think like NAD and IV infusions, all of this is very like, oh, well, I can just order this or I can get this or this is on my menu. It actually is a very customized approach because of this reason. We're all different lifestyle habits make a huge difference y'all a huge difference i feel like i learned that growing up my mom told me that but i'm like no it doesn't if i don't sleep well i'm gonna be just fine ah uh, that's wrong <laughs> the older you get it just hits you more so let's talk about iv versus injection there's several different forms and ways that you can do it you can take nad oral as a supplement you can do an IV. You also can do it as in subcutaneous injection. So that would be like if you're gonna do it on your belly area or like right here, it's kind of the same way in place you would inject insulin. They're going to work all differently. Now let's talk about bioavailability. What is that? Bioavailability is essentially how much of what you're taking is your body going to absorb. And when I talk about absorbing, we're talking about the cellular level. Everything that we're taking our goal is to get it to the cellular level because that is where it works. So if you take a pill form, you're generally gonna absorb about 10 to 40% of it because it, a lot of it gets lost in your gut. That's just how it goes and everyone's gut's different. It is just generally 10 to 40% is gonna make it to that cellular level. Subcutaneous, so that's gonna be the injections. I actually do not know the exact person on that. It is more effective than doing oral hands down. I just cannot tell you the specifics because I do not know. IV um, is going to be 99 to 100% because it is directly, it is not going through your gut. It is going directly into your vein and it, it just makes it where almost all of it's available for yourself to use. So that is going to be the most beneficial route where you absorb the most out of it, but everybody's different so it's not a one size fits all and i'll keep you guys updated on this i have done iv like i told you i can use the last like five or six months i love it i can tell when it's time around that month time i usually do it around the 15th of each month i can tell when it's time to do another one but i am about to probably switch to injections and i want to see if i can tell any of a difference why am i doing this i run five to six days a week so I wanna see, instead of getting a large amount all at once, I wanna see how I feel doing a little bit amount. A lot of times you do, you can, there's several ways you can do it as well, but I'll do two to three times a week, so you're kind of microdosing throughout the month. Even though I'm getting the same dose, I'm just breaking it up throughout the month. So I will keep you guys updated on that, but you can do IV, you can do injections, and then the other thing is, there are, it is uncomfortable whenever you do it IV. So IV, the higher, higher dosage or the amount that you do, the more uncomfortable it is. And that is why always consult or have a doctor, provider, uh, consult you before and kind of go over all of these. But also make sure whoever is infusing your infusion knows what they're doing. They're very familiar with what is normal, what is not normal because there are some reasons why you would not give it. And also you, need, you just need to know what is normal versus not normal. So I can tell you, IV is gonna be the most uncomfortable. The goal with IV is to slow the rate down to where, again, depending on the dose, but the dose that we try to work you up to, you're going to fill it no matter what. The goal is to get it the faster that you give it and the higher amounts you give, the more uncomfortable it is. So we generally will try to get it to a rate where it's tolerable for you, but not too much to where you're so miserable, if that makes sense. And so it normally takes about one to three hours, depending on the person. Everyone's different. Sometimes you start at our max dose. Sometimes you start at a little dose and we kind of work our way up. There are several different factors to it. It's not a one size fits all. Now when you do subcutaneous, so the injection, you're going to get, it more feels almost like they're not as intense by any means but you will fill it depending on the dose that you do. A lot of times you can get a little bit of just like generalized kind of weakness, like your arms and legs just kind of feel like a dead weight. You're like, hmm, that's weird. And then you can kind of feel like you just had a shot of caffeine because you're doing a lot lower doses, subcutaneous at one time, you're just remember taking that large dose and kind of dividing it up throughout the weeks. And so a lot of people kind of get like a jittery feeling and then they can get a little bit of a, 
it just kind of feels like like your heart's racing but it's again it's a lot more mild when you do it subcutaneous because the dosing is a lot smaller and then oral i've taken oral before i got zero you just it absorbs so slowly and you absorb such little amount of that that you don't you don't really feel any of it but nad has so many benefits the one contraindication why you would not do it this is all for educational purposes, by the way, because again, there's a lot of factors in this. So don't just take my word and go find it somewhere on the black market. I am not suggesting that at all, but there are, it depends. So NAD itself, we're not talking about it being administered in IV fluids because there are some contraindications of why you would even give IV fluids. But for NAD itself, there's gray area. If you have cancer or a history of cancer, are you going to be fueling your body with are you going to be giving it energy to be fueling the wrong types of cells? Now, there's no studies to say one way or another. It listened to several different, you know, naturopathic physicians that say yes and that say no. Because of that, us personally, we do not give it if there's any history or you've had, currently have cancer. We just play it safe. But that is kind of the one concerning issue of like, will it, will it not? I don't know. Our body makes it anyway, so is it? I don't know. We don't do it because of that, but that is kind of the one gray area of why we, why we would not give it. There's also a ton of dosing. There's so many ways that you can dose it. There's not a one size fits all. So again, rec or talk to your physician or, you know, just have a talk with them about what your goals are, because depending on what your goals are, that's going to a lot of times determine what form you get and the dosage that you get. So there is so much to NAD. This is a very brief overview, but NAD really has so many benefits, especially in the athletic, the longevity, the repair, the aging there. It just, it literally covers it all. And you're replacing something that your body naturally makes. It just declines as we age. And depending on our lifestyle, that kind of depends on how it's going to work and affect us. So I'm Tiffany. I will see you guys next Wednesday.